Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to the family. My name is Dineo. If you've been been supporting me, thank you for your continued support. If you haven't subscribed, honey, what are you waiting for though? <laughs> Please click on that subscribe button, like and share my video as well. Click on the notification bell so that you know when there's new content available for you to watch. So today's video, I will be doing a get ready with me. I hope that you do find the video interesting. Let's get right into it. So lambs, I've already started with my eye makeup. I'm now going to go ahead and do my face. As I've stated before, it's not a tutorial. I'm just getting ready with you for my home photo shoot. So if I don't mention what I'm doing, please bear with me. Just look at the technique. If um, more than anything from this video, you'll be taking away a technique or what I'm using um, to achieve something on my face. So yeah, let's get right into it. So loves, while we are getting ready, I just wanted to talk about my relocation story. Most of you know that I relocated just over a year ago from Joburg to Mosul Bay. Joburg being the city, the busy city, um, a lot of stuff to do. So basically moving into like a small town, literally very small but it has so much beauty to offer. How did relocation look for me? I basically had to unlearn what was being a busy city, my friends being close to me, you know, not too far from where I stayed, um, being comfortable so basically I literally got out of my comfort zone into the unknown into the unknown <laughs> if I can put it like that the only thing I knew it was one person that I was certain that I knew that was honey like I knew that was the only person I knew you know um, so how did it look initially it was very 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 lonely um social wise because i did i did not know a lot of people that meant that i i had to be with honey all the time like he couldn't as well go out as much as he would love to because he had to accommodate me you know um so it was very tough socially and honey introduced me to running long long runs like your 10 15 k's you know because that's what he would do on saturdays but i actually took long to adjust to that world so most of the time i say no you can go you'll find me when you get back and that meant that most of the time i would sleep and we incorporate we incorporated a lot of hiking a lot of we actually did a challenge where we would visit different coffee shops to try out their chai lattes and carrot cake that was amazing uh, we incorporated doing morning walks and all afternoon walks so that was good for my body good for the soul but the the biggest thing that actually came into play that actually helped me to feel centered it was god um so i found myself learning to to not depend on, on myself but rather spend a lot of time in god's presence what did that look like that looked like doing a lot of morning devotions uh finding myself in the word um praying praise and worship as well so that was the biggest turning point for me because i did not feel that loneliness anymore i felt god's presence you know i felt i felt safe i felt like i belong you know i felt my perspective was just changing because i think 
I was sort of getting to a point of why, what exactly am I doing here? Like, this place is so small. There isn't much to do, you know, grumbling all the time. But spending time with God changed my, my perspective. It changed the way I looked at the whole process and actually enjoying my time here, learning that I actually have so many skills within me. I've done so much DIYs and when he looks at what I've done, he'll say, oh, you've done this. Oh, wow. I'm impressed, you know. At initially, I thought, no, he's just saying that to be nice. But actually, when I look at the things I've made, I'm like, okay, girl, you've got it. Um, So it's been insane but it's been insanely amazing as well um that meant going to church more there's events at church like uh praise and worship on sunday nights at times there's women word and worship where you feel uplifted spiritually where you meet with other christians or you meet with other women um from different walks from different circles of life where you gather and you pray and you praise and worship the messiah you know and when you leave that space you feel uplifted you know when you leave that space and go to different spaces you actually have so much to offer so that's how relocation has looked for me um it's been a crazy but an amazing journey it's been a crazy and amazing journey for me and wow (laughs) i don't know what to say i'm thankful for god that he gave me a partner who actually invests time in making sure that i'm okay you know um and i thank god for his presence because if it wasn't for his presence i think i'd still be in that mode where i'm like what is happening here you know um so basically the journey is more of getting literally literally getting out of my comfort zone and into the unknown but with expectation you know with with joy with with i'm expectant you know um with a great attitude knowing that god is with me into this unknown into this new journey and learning what is what is right now what what my journey is right now so that has been that has been amazing um I've said a and i believe that it summarizes my relocation story it's not all the details but these are the details that i could fit into this video (laughs) so yeah let me have some water and i'll come back in a bit and the other thing that i am learning is doing letters of gratitude you know yes there's so much we're praying for there's so much we want to achieve there's places and spaces where we see ourselves growing and right now at this moment it feels like we are not getting there or it's not happening for us so what i'm learning it's a change of perspective in this moment right here right now in the season that you are in you know right in this moment try and write down a list which is what i'm doing a list of stuff that you are grateful for and you will realize that actually though the if i can put it like this the material things that i'm praying for i hadn't have not yet manifested but there is so much that god is still blessing me with you know there is so much that god is doing in my life like he's moving in my life he's doing great things you know though it's not the things that i i I'm I'm currently praying for but um so basically changing perspective um of 
of how we view things and being grateful for that which is great in our life for that which is amazing in our life right here right now yes I'm done being serious so guys I'm going to attempt to do a photo shoot I don't know how that is going to work out but I am hopeful and yeah let's see what happens in a moment So loves, I'm gonna go off camera, put on my lashes and get dressed and show you guys the final look and we're gonna get into our home photo shoot. <laughs> I hope that it becomes a success. Let's get going. So loves, the photo shoot was an epic failure. I could only salvage these two photos, full pictures rather, and the rest is just body sh um, half body shots. I hope that you enjoyed the video. Please do not forget to subscribe, like and share my video as well. Till we meet again on my next video. Bye!